Do you know how much time gets wasted when a writer doesn't understand what they're supposed to write? Watch on to learn how to write a perfect content brief to get the best results from your writers. My name is Katerina. Every week I share useful tips and insights to help you get better results from content marketing. Today's video is going to be especially useful for marketing managers and SEO specialists because I'm going to break down exactly how to write a detailed content brief for your writers. I've been long enough in the content marketing to realize that a detailed content brief is key to making a great piece of content come to life. The thing is, if you don't tell the writer exactly what they are supposed to write, then the result might not meet your expectations. To make sure it doesn't happen, you need to prepare a document that communicates a direction that a writer needs to take to write content for your company. At Kayaks, a content marketing agency that I've co-founded, we call this document a specification, the same term they use in software development to provide requirements for programmers at the beginning of the project. So what should your content specification include? Focus keyword, suggested title, buyer persona, requirements, structure suggestions, SEO keywords, internal links, references, additional requirements, guides and rules. Let's discuss each of these points in detail. Focus keyword or target keyword. A focus keyword is the main key phrase for which you want your content to be found in the search engine. This key phrase should be included in the title. Your writer should have a clear understanding of the search intent behind this phrase that is the main goal that a user pursues when searching for this query in Google. It's better if you include the search intent in your content brief. For example, if you want to write an article that targets a key phrase wireframe versus mockup, then the search intent can be formulated as follows. Search intent. A user wants to understand the difference between wireframes and mockups, two common terms used by product design teams. I've got a video about search intent and I'll link to it at the end of this video. Suggested title. A well-articulated headline helps the writer understand the angle that their content should take. This angle helps set the tone for the content and sets it apart from other content on the same topic. A formula for an effective headline is focus keyword plus promise plus some hype. Some hype is needed to keep the reader interested. Here are some examples of effective headlines from our B2B projects. Microservices architecture in banking. What's the fuss about? A non-boring guide to how your extra search is supposed to work. Regression testing in Agile. 10 signs you're doing it wrong. Mobile learning design principles. Let's steal them from social media. Conversational UI. How to create a brisk human-machine dialogue. I've got a ton of videos and blog posts to help you write effective headlines. Sensory words, follow words, copywriting formulas. Check out all the links in the description to this video. Buy a persona. It's important that the writer understands who they are writing content for. Companies usually have a document that lists all the main buyer personas that marketers work with. If you prepare a brief for your internal writers, they need to know who these personas are, their background, the difficulties they face, and how they make decisions. If your content brief goes to a freelance writer, some information about buyer personas should definitely get into the brief. For example, if you are preparing a brief for an article about how to build a minimum viable product or an MVP, here's some information about the buyer persona that you can include there. Buyer persona 1. Brian Cole. An early stage startup with a small team. They've already done some research, interviewed potential customers and made some basic wireframes. At this point, their existing team doesn't have the required skill set to handle design work and they are searching for a professional designer to help them turn their idea into a functional MVP. They want to be able to test their idea on the market as soon as possible. For Brian, design isn't about aesthetics. It's a tool that can help him achieve his business goal, such as validate his new product idea. He's looking for a design company with the same vision. Describing a buyer persona will help your writer better understand the target audience that their content is meant for and tailor their content to this audience. Requirements. This section includes job to be done. It's a lens through which you can look at your reader's circumstances in the current moment, the problem and the reason they want to solve it. The job to be done formula looks like this. When I, I want to, so I can. For example, 
When I need to prevent unnecessary expenses and detect the lack of market interest for my product, I want to learn about the differences and the main idea behind a minimum lovable product MLP and minimum viable product MVP, so I could build a product that will succeed. Key message. It's some knowledge about the company, products or services that we want to convey to the reader through this content. You can formulate it like this. You did not become a product manager to deliver something your customers merely tolerate. You became a product manager to build something they love. At our company, we design things people love, not tolerate. Let us know if you want to work together. Direction. It's some information about the format of the content piece and what it needs to be about. Try to be creative when writing a direction. There is no need to follow a precise pattern. For example, you can write here. Let's give a deeper explanation of the terms a minimum lovable product MLP and a minimum viable product MVP. Talk about who invented them, why, what was their meaning back then, and what misconceptions people have today. You can also add that this whole MVP thing has turned into a buzzword competition where people are trying to invent new terms every year, like MMP, MSP, forgetting that the whole point of building a new product, whatever you call it, MVP, MLP, MMP, MSP, is to get a product market fit. And this can only be achieved if people truly need this product. And of course, it's better if they love it. You can include here some pictures and whatever you think will help the writer better understand what you need them to write. Company expertise. It's some information about the company's experience that a writer should incorporate into the context to increase the reader's credibility and sell your brand. For example, for an article about the difference between a minimum viable product and a minimum lovable product, you can add some examples of product that your company helped design to illustrate these two concepts and also tell some stories about how your company helped your clients achieve product market fit. Structure suggestions. To make your brief even more specific, you can provide an outline to show to your writer what the structure of the content should look like. What does an outline include? First of all, it should include an idea for the introduction, the most important part of the story. H2, H3 subheadings. What should go into each section and where to get the information. And finally, a CTA or where the reader should go next. SEO keywords. The SEO keywords section includes the words that the writer needs to include into their content. We usually include in this section main keywords and volume of requests per month for each of these keywords. People also ask. These are the questions from the people also ask box on the first page of Google for our main keyword. LSI or words of phrases that Google considers semantically related to the topic. Internal links. We usually add a table with all the relevant links from our website with a course or link titles that the writer should add into their content. References. Here we add all the important links to the information that a writer can rely on when writing content. Additional requirements. This section includes all the additional general requirements that should be kept in mind when writing content. For example, spellings of meta title, description, alt talk spellings, URL spellings, use of external links, originality of the text, text length, and deadline. Guides and rules. To write great content, a writer needs to abide to house rules set by the company. At Kayaks, these rules are expressed using a style guide, a strategic messaging guide, and content guidelines. In addition, we usually add some helpful links to help the writer do their job, like how to write an outline, how to collect keywords, how to sell the expertise, and CTA examples for blog. I've added an example of the brief to the description of this video. You can copy it and use it as a template in your project. I'll see you next time with a new video. Thank you for watching. Yakaterina, пока-пока.